Nebuchadnezzar lifted his eyes to heaven and his sanity returned. There's an amazing story in the Old Testament about the powerful and prideful Babylonian king named Nebuchadnezzar, who even after witnessing God's miraculous rescue of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the fiery furnace, he turned his eyes and his heart from recognizing God as the one true king. Eventually, with his pride and his power and his refusal to humble himself before God, he descends into madness, and basically goes insane, eating grass like a cow and living like a wild animal. Well, eventually, his sanity is restored at the very moment he finally lifts his eyes to heaven, as the Bible says, acknowledging that God is the one in control, the true ruler and king. Well, it's that part of the story that I find so powerful and convicting. His sanity returned when he lifted his eyes to heaven, when he looked at and acknowledged what was the ultimate truth. Several years ago, I wrote a song called King of the Jungle, where I sang these lyrics. What I see is telling me this world's gone crazy. What is real says God's still on the throne. I'd been watching the news and looking at the world around me at that time, particularly as a father, concerned about the world my kids were growing up in. And I was struck with how much chaos and confusion there seemed to be everywhere I looked. Well, as you might imagine, I've thought about that song and those lyrics a lot recently, as the world has seemed to become an even crazier, more chaotic, and more confusing place than ever before, at least in my lifetime. There have never been so many different voices and sources all vying for our attention, telling us different versions of truth that can leave us feeling hopeless, desperate, and sometimes like we're going crazy. What well, seems to come down to a matter of where we are looking, where we set our eyes and our hearts will determine so much about the condition of our mind. And it's simply the most intelligent and sane thing to do to lift our eyes to heavens and look to the one King who is good faithful and in control. Scottish pastor Robert Murray McShane in writing to his friend George Shaw left us with some powerful advice along these lines when he said, for every look at yourself, take 10 looks at Christ. Or in other words, as a songwriter once said, for every look at the jungle out there, take 10 looks at the king of the jungle.